Hey data fans, Reed here. Today, we're going to explore some ways of displaying the comparisons of subtotals and grand totals now within a report tooltip. As you can see here, I've used a bullet chart visual to stack by filtered subtotals against the grand totals for both the categories on the legend and the y-axis categories as well. This gives users multiple perspectives for comparing their data and provides a rich analytics experience. So let's go ahead, hop into Power BI and get started. So those of you who watched last week's video on the Smart Narrative, you might recognize this report page. If you haven't seen the video yet on Smart Narrative, I'd highly recommend going and checking it out. It's a really cool video that shows how to combine natural language text and mash that up and combine it with any kind of KPIs or metrics from your model. And you can find the link to that video over in the pane on the right of this video or down in the description. But for this video, I've modified that report tooltip to now actually use two different types of bullet charts that we can provide various ways to do comparisons of the subtotals against the grand totals. And if you're wondering why the visual itself doesn't look like something that's native to Power BI, that is because it's not. It's a visual that's been downloaded from the custom visual store. So the, this visual itself is, and this visual itself is, if I select it, you'll see that over here that it is the bullet chart by OKViz. OK and that can be accessed by going, clicking here, selecting get more visuals. And if you look for the word bullet and then make sure we're selecting category all, I added this bullet chart here, which is a free download to add. And it's again, made by OKViz. OK it's one of my favorite free visuals to use. There are some other bullet charts as well that are made by XViz that are super powerful with a lot of additional features. If you wanna have a subscription to one with a lot of power user features. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and just use the free bullet chart by OKViz. OK Exit out of this window. And let's come back and have a conversation around the values that I'm displaying in here. So let's first focus on the very top visual here, sales versus brand total. We can see that there's two different comparisons. So sales is being compared against sales brand grand total, sales class grand total. The brand grand total, which is the green bar, actually represents the grand total for everything in this chart, which means it's all the values for the class of, in this case that I'm hovering over, regular for Contoso, AdventureWorks, Proswear, et cetera. So it is applying the filter still of the regular class name. And separately now, it's also removing the filter for the actual brand name. So it's gonna get the grand total basically for all of the yellow that you see down below. And the class grand total, which you see is that blue bar, which is smaller, that is essentially the entire value for all of Contoso right there for the entire Contoso bar. So it's a nice way to see a subtotal versus two different grand totals, basically grand total for the legend and grand total for the Y axis. And then down below, I basically just have the top product categories per brand name, in this case, the top 10. And that's just comparing them again against the entire total for all of the classes. So basically the entire bar for Contoso, AdventureWorks, et cetera, but then subtotal down for all of those product subcategories in these sales. And in general, report tooltips have so many cool ways to visually represent data that would otherwise be displayed as text. And the bullet chart is just one more way to have a really unique way and perspective to kind of layer on if you have an actual and target or multiple targets that you want to then compare against with anything else, it's a nice way to represent that without having to use any other combo charts, which really there's not too many of them built into Power BI that I think represent it quite as well as bullet chart type visuals. Let's go ahead and come over to the bullet chart tooltip. And we can see that not too much is going on here. We have the bullet chart item at the top and the bottom, just two of the same type of visuals. And the top piece right here, just like I've done in a lot of other videos, it happens to be a button that I basically have just supplied a measure into. Now this measure itself is a measure that basically just has a series of concatenated texts. I open up the bullet chart submenu and look for a smart narrative title. Basically just checking out here, brand name, the max amount for that, which basically returns the first value, class name, and then whatever that first value is. So when the filter selection is being made, this changes to indicate what I'm looking at when I'm hovering over the tooltip. Now the measures in here are fairly straightforward. I have essentially the sales brand grand total, which just applies a simple all filter to remove that. I have the sales class total, same thing, and all the filter removes that, but it allows it, once they start applying filters, to then get those grand totals and a subtotal comparison. So there's not that many complex things happening here. It's just a couple of visuals that I've gotten from the custom visual store, a little bit of formatting magic there at the top. I added a couple of splashes of aesthetics as well, including the shadows that you see that have been attached just down here to the visual. But overall, the end result is a visual that I think gives some really unique perspectives when you hover over this and you get multiple ways to kind of slice and dice and compare to see 
as a ratio, like how big and small is this value versus column, row totals, and anything else that you might want to compare against. And I'm sure there's a lot of other ways to utilize this. And hopefully this gives you a couple of ideas to use report tooltips and maybe find some unique ways as well to continue to explore custom visuals. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. If this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, smash that subscribe and notification button. And last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below.